In this video, we're going to discuss the Universal Collective, this global energy for the Sagittarius full moon and the lunar month ahead. How we can best utilize our time and energy and make it the best life possible. Welcome and greetings. My name is Edward, psychic medium, animal communication communicator, your soul messenger host, assisting us all, including myself, to live, love, and manifest a life that our soul intended for us to live this lifetime. Let's get busy. All right. So, this is quite an interesting um, full moon. It's like um, a lot of highs, as long as we don't completely forget our lows of the past. Which is interesting because, you know, normally we need to let go of it completely. But... This full moon is reminding us is that is what has made us who we are today. And we should embrace that. All right. So if you would like to have a psychic greeting session with myself and my guides, go to my website, everyregasta.community, link readings. Current rates are there. If you're local, you can see me in Sugarloaf, New York, most Saturdays and Sundays, or you can have a telephone reading with me, with me and my guides. Current rates are there. All the information is there. If, if you would like to have more videos like this, daily videos, foresight, insight, go to my website, Community, link Medium Tarot TV. And this video will be there. Theme healing songs will be there. And where you can subscribe for the daily subscription service. Feed your soul. All right, enough of that. Let's get to it. So we're going to continue where we left off, and we're going to continue with the weak energy, which is going to be the strongest June 14th through the 20th, though everything discussed here is in influence for the lunar month, June 14th through July 12th, 2022. And this is the, inf and this is the information, this is the, how I perceive it, communication. So look who's talking, or not. It is the astrological influence of association of the element of fire. So all fire sun signs are activated, empowered, and or triggered for this lunar month. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Particularly the youth. So that would be 28 years old and younger. But all fire sun signs... can take the best qualities of this. So this is this energy reminds me of a Dora the Explorer type. So an adventurer. Do we need to get more adventure more adventurous? Is that a word? Do we need to take um, a risk? Are we playing it too safe? Or do we need to Talk more or talk less, <laughs> right? It's not just, um, there's always, always, you know, two sides, not just one. Do we need to speak up for ourselves? Do, do we need to talk less and listen more? Okay, whatever applies, here we are for us as individuals. But it's a very nice energy. And... I would say if we need to get fired up about something, this is a good time. If you need to draw some healthy boundaries, this is a very good time to do it. Just do it with love and compassion, and so be it. Uh, I also see this energy as holding space for something or someone. And also creating our sacred space. There you go. Lots of options. All right. Then the day energy. So the moon is in Sagittarius, of course. 
the full moon in Sagittarius is at 7.52 a.m. Eastern. 4.52 a.m. Pacific, adjusted time to where you are on the globe. The moon goes void, of course, at 10.58 a.m. Eastern, 7.58 Pacific. And then the moon enters Capricorn at 6.14 p.m. Eastern, 3.14 p.m. Pacific. Color of the day is scarlet. It is also flag day and also known as the strong sun moon. And in fact, it is. <laughs> because the day energy, normally I would tell us to, with this energy, to get some face time with the sun. Luminary the sun. It can be five minutes. But um, yeah, soak up some, some of the rays. Soak up the rays. And this is a light energy. This is a happy energy. This is an energy of celebrating. And it can be that we're celebrating we survived. <laughs> it can be that. That's good enough. But talk about an energy of people wanting to have gatherings. And now that the weather has broke, uh, barbecues or picnics, it's all gatherings in the outdoors, in nature. This is it. This is it. So do we need to embrace the light? More positive energy. Do we need to see the light? Do we need to see the truth of a situation, circumstance, or person? Been there, done that. Listen to the communication that is going on around us. Sometimes it's direct, sometimes it's indirect. But if we don't try to be an eavesdropper, we will find out what we need to find out. And this energy is so positive, I would have to throw in a wish. So I would say definitely make a wish. This might not be a personal energy, but it's good enough. Now, this wish or intention, if you will, right? will be very powerful because it's a full moon. So just be very sure <laughs> if you do that, if you make a wish or a moon intention, full moon intention, just be very careful. Be careful what you wish for, as the saying goes. I'm not saying not to do it. I'm just saying think it out. Think it through first. That's all. All right. Extremely wonderful, positive energy. Now, I actually want to add one more thing. There's a feeling here of getting naked. Yeah, that could be taking a clothes off. But what I really mean is allowing ourselves to tr show our true colors, expose ourselves. I don't think we should expose the truth. I think we should let the universe take care of that. But If we need to be more outgoing, here we are. If we need to be less, like more introverted, that would apply as well. But it's really, an, it feels like an energy of allowing ourselves to be seen and not having too much care about what the reaction or repercussions are going to be. Now, I'm not saying doing it, do anything foolish. But as one example, if you need to get yourself out there more, just meet more people or just live your life the way you want, so be it. Okay? All right. Very good energy. And then we get to the little bit challenging part of it. The Psychic Insight theme. 
And the full moon is Sagittarius full moon at 23 degrees. And if so if you're astrologically inclined, you look to see where Sagittarius 23 degrees is in your chart, what house it's hitting, what matters, the issues involved with that house, and then always look at the opposite, six signs away from Sagittarius. So it's an axis. And those would be the um, issues that are going to be have light shown on with the full moon. Okay. Now, this is the energy of Astrological Association of Saturn in Sagittarius. It has to be Sagittarius because it's a Sagittarius full moon, after all. But Saturn, hmm. Saturn likes to, it's not really a happy mix, Saturn with uh, Sag. Uh, Saturn is the task master. And I have a feeling that this full moon, if there is something that we need to get once and for all, or learn a lesson once and for all, whether we like it or not, we're going to get it. <laughs> um, even for those hard-pressed for those who cling to their um, denial. Um, well, it's going to be pretty obvious for everyone around them. Let's put it that way. All right. Or if, or if they know them. Yeah, for sure. So it's the energy of obligations, responsibilities. Have they become a burden? So as with all full moons, I feel it's a time of healing. So, if we need to spend some time alone, honor that. To work things out, maybe write it out, talk it out, whatever works for you. As opposed to keeping it in. And that's where we end up having troubles down the road. Emotional, mental, it trickles down to physical. So we don't want that. Illness is ill of ease. All right. Let's see if there's anything else I can add. Well, usually at this time, I think it's going to be lovingly forced upon us, but... Usually with this energy, I should say, it would be a time to look at our daily routine and schedule. Before work and after work, when we're off of work, and if you work for yourself, your whole schedule. And making sure that we have a proper mix. And with the day energy, we're certainly going to want a nice amount of play. Fun, upbeat, natural. These are keywords. Nature, joy, happiness, passion. Okay? All right. Now, my favorite part, a theme healing song. So, we received the phrase, talk it out. <laughs> And we actually did end up with two great songs. So, for the more serious, like if you really need to talk something out, get it off your chest to help you perhaps release the past, whatever it is, if it's important to you, it's important, then the theme healing song, theme healing song for you would be Talk to Me by Cave Town. I believe they're from the UK. And that was released in 2018. So that's an alternate theme healing song. But the one that was chosen is I Don't Want to Talk, I Just Want to Dance. And that is by Glass Animals. And that was released last year, 2021. Talk about a fun, upbeat song, okay? So, 
those those are what was chosen depending on what we need. If you need a more healing vibe, then you go to the other song, Talk to Me by Cape Town. If you're ready to let loose and have some fun, then I don't want to talk, I just want to dance. Will be the theme healing song for you. All right. So great possibilities in closing words. Great possibilities great potential. Allow ourselves to work through what's no longer working for us. And communication is always key. But it certainly is brought to the forefront with this full moon. All right. I hope you have an illuminating one. And we hope to see you real soon. If not in another video, then for a telephone reading or in person in Shiglof, New York. Be well.